Welcome, dear viewers, to a new episode of Dialogue Horizon. As we promised last week, we will keep going on the issue of Juba Peace Talk. The second Juba Peace Talk with uh, SPLM North, uh, with Commander Abdel Adid Al Hilu. But before that, we will, we, will, we will talk about this and the ongoing talks and the position of each of the two parts. But before that, we have, we have a hot issue. Uh, we have to speak a little bit about it, which was what was announced uh, yesterday of almost lifting the subsidy on fuel uh, completely, which had a um, response, a negative response from the people. Um, and I think <coughs> this will continue on uh, unless, unless other things are done to alleviate the effect of the uh, increasing prices due to lifting subsidies. So I'm happy to host in this episode uh, two of our uh, distinguished gentlemen, first Dr. Samani Hanoun, as uh, we, we host you many times, he's a doctor in economic, in economy in finance, and finance. And also we have another important uh, VIP. We hosted him a long time ago, but uh, we are happy to have with us in this episode Professor Montasir al -Tayyib. Professor Montasir al in the uh, University of Khartoum Faculty of Medicine, genetics is particular, but he had a very effective and important role in the whole revolution. And he was one of the nominees for the post of prime minister of after the revolution he had outstanding contribution till now he's still keeping on his contribution uh, with the uh, revolutionary uh, groups and uh, he has just come yesterday from juba he's following the talks so before we indulge on the, the discussion about the peace talks we we, we, we we talk a little bit about the decision to lift completely the subsidy on uh, fuel its effect on what could have been done if because people are not accepting it till this moment dr samani hanu can you elaborate and talk a little bit about this uh, issue uh, thanks to sudan tv and especially dialogue horizon for this uh, special invitation to join uh, this special episodes on peace and the uh, juba uh, second round of talks and uh, to highlight the uh, last or recent decision by ministry of finance to fully uh, liberalize the oil prices in sudan so that actually resulted in increasing prices dramatically to unprecedented level and also magnified the inflation in the economy. And the consumer in Sudan suffer are now chatting from the high prices in market due to liberalization of the oil prices and fuel prices in market. So this is in the short run will increase inflation in the economy, will deteriorate the standard of living of masses of Sudanese people, and they will find difficult to access the basic needs like uh, uh, goods and service in market and even the service will be uh, negatively affected by increasing prices of oil in the market but definitely this is an economic decision an aggressive economic decision which is the must and important for recovery of the national economy the uh, people should wait and should also be more patient in order to get a fruitful result from these uh, uh, liberalizations of the the fuel uh, prices in market because in uh, economic uh, you need to take some aggressive decision that would result in maintaining stability in the economy, will uh, control inflation in the economy, create job for job seekers in the economy and also stimulate the aggregate output in the economy. So in order to achieve this strategic goal in macroeconomic policies you need to take this aggressive decision. So people they have to differentiate between the economic need and the 
tightness uh, or the economic tightness uh, uh, day to day in the uh, needs of the people. So economics need to take this aggressive decision, but people cannot afford. So timing of decision is unfavorable because people will suffer from increasing prices in market and they will fail to meet their basic needs like uh, water, uh, electricity, education, health. This will be very expensive in the market in the short run. The timing of the decision is not uh, uh, appropriate and, uh, some t and will result uh, definitely in negative consequences on the masses of consumers in Sudan. So what is needed now? Government should take some accompanying uh, package of decisions in order to mitigate the negative impact of the liberalizations of the prices on consumers. The government should subsidize uh, the Samarat program and increase the uh, uh, social protection fund in order to increase from five uh, dollars per uh, uh, individual to ten dollars in order to uh, mitigate the negative impact of liberalizations of oil in market. Government also should uh, uh, give more uh, uh, incentive and uh, uh, support the vulnerable groups that will suffer from increasing prices in market. So some uh, uh, policies should accompany the decisions of the oil liberal, uh, fuel liberalizations in market. Otherwise, this will result on uh, negative consequences and sometimes lead to some negative uh, uh, political consequences. My advice is and message to all the revolutionaries, whether Kandaka, Shafata, everywhere, don't respond to the call of the administration. These are routine uh, Roshita to be implemented in order to recover the economy in the long run. And finally, they will result in some fruitful output to the people everywhere in Sudan. These are, in short, and I think what I can say about the uh, liberalization that, that, of that, oil in market. So as, yes. if, as if you are saying that yeah. they did the right thing at the wrong time. Definitely. The wrong time because it had to be preceded by uh, making the cushion for the, for, for the individual, for the vulnerable uh, uh, sector, the groups, by, uh, as, as you are, are saying, uh, either increasing the Samarat and yeah. uh, revitalizing or speeding up the uh, Samarat project because money is being already paid by the international community so this should have been done first a second uh, the government should look into adjusting the salaries of the, the employees yes, which will be i'm sure the private sector, salary, yes, uh, private sector will follow suit so uh, some some prerequisites are, requ are required before taking this uh, hard hard decision mm -hmm. okay professor just you can have few words about this about your just general feeling i know you are a professor in genetics and uh, it's a little bit like me outside the domain of our specialization but in 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 general what can you say about the decision actually i'm a consumer no so i'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> by the uh, by these policies uh, my, my concern, my, the question is who is going to bear the brunt of this, uh, these policies? This has something directly to do with uh, Inghaz, because Inghaz, as you know, uh, has destroyed the, the core of Sudanese economy, especially the, the producing sectors. And uh, the majority of the economy is what's called the informal economy, and people are, uh, yeah, people subsist and they continue to live on either uh, the remittances of people from outside Sudan uh, or by small, uh, uh, what you call these day-to-day jobs, you know, yeah. like selling yeah. things, you know, mm -hmm. uh, small, small vendors and all these things. This bulk of the, of, uh, uh, of the population can adjust, you know, their... Uh, their prices and service according to the revenues. Yes, according mm. to what they, to, to the revenue that they get dollars from. Because they increase their. But okay. those who can't adjust are uh, the uh, government, uh, uh, civil service people like us, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the uh, um, you know, all who are work by wages because wages, wages and this is yeah. it is not the majority but it's a substantial sector whether the private or public the sector yes uh, the 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 minister have uh, been talking about uh, uh, use the term surgery you know but and by the way i'm not i'm not a clinical doctor you know i'm a, <laughs> I'm a scientist so you know i'm from the institute of endemic disease you know mm. we just uh, but hosted by the medical campus uh, but the, this term surgery 
uh, is used a lot by you know this ne new liberal uh, uh, approaches and uh, when you do a surgery you have to anesthetize the person you cannot <laughs> put your blade on, on someone who is not anesthetized this is what is happening now you know uh, without any uh, uh, remedy without any preco without measures of the measures uh, mentioned by by the professor uh, these uh, I don't want to go into the details of yes. what we have suggested at uh, the university early on on how to uh, uh, how to provide uh, subsidized uh, and when I say subsidized I don't mean you know governmental uh, subsidy there is means and ways of how to uh, alleviate you know the outcome of this uh, okay. of this cruel cruel uh, intervention which might be necessity uh, necessity but uh, people People cannot live. The long time, uh, definitely, the long definitely, time definitely. definitely. Okay, Professor, okay, we'll, talk, we'll also continue right to <coughs> your domain, <coughs> the, the political uh, domain. And it is good that you have just come from Juba. Mm -hmm. So you have a um, uh, fairest uh, hand view about the talks. What is your evaluation on the ongoing talks in Juba? Um, uh, since last week with Abdel Adid Al Hilu, and they say there are some sticky points uh, which need to be addressed. Mm -hmm. So just give us our, your, your evaluation, general evaluation to the to the discussion with uh, Abdel Adid Al Hilu and SPLM North. Um, I, I came about four days ago, and uh, <coughs> the the general atmosphere was really quite positive, and. Uh, it was full of optimism and uh, that's a problem you know when you are discussing a lot of issues and when you are trying to um, uh, go into the details regarding the the uh, the, 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 uh, the the draft that has been signed on the on the uh, document of principal uh, uh, document yeah of, of, of uh, principles uh, because as they say the, the the devil lies in the details Mm. The problem is when you have when you have a political uh, will in both sides, and when uh, uh, there are clarity about about the solutions, uh, people can can really um, uh, overcome these difficulties. The problem is there is a uh, uh, what, what I what I call an environment of mistrust, and this. Uh, environment of mistrust uh, uh, is uh, an outcome, is, an, is a product of many, many decades since independence of non of the central government not honoring the agreements. Mm. Uh, with uh, even now, the uh, that what what really had a negative impact is the uh, uh, revolution of uh, the uh, Asaraf. Uh, voicing their concern about the implementation of the, agree of the yes, Juba, yes, of Juba yes, agreement. Yes, yes. Um, so <coughs> th th this, I think that that had uh, an impact on the development of the, on the negotiations. And uh, also, I think the uh, SPLM North uh, has to appreciate the fact that this country is, has nothing to do with uh, the situation in Sudan now has nothing to do with the, 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 the uh, decades. The 30 years before the... the, the, the 30 and even the 50 years before or 60 years. Okay. This is a very special, you know, uh, junction in the history of Sudan. You know, if you are talking about a, a state, you know, that, you know, it has a plan, you know, that has, uh, uh, you know, a strategic plan to engulf you or any other opposition, then you are not really well informed. Uh, this is now a new system in the formation. And uh, my advice to the experience is that they have to be part of this process of forming a new, a new system, a new go go government and a new uh, statehood system, a new system of... Uh, so if they just uh, continue negotiating from the same positions that you used to negotiate with Zinkaz, because that's what really uh, uh, also another point of concern. When you look at uh, the document that they presented, 
it looks a lot like uh, the fascia, uh, you know, agreement. Uh, right. That's one of the tragedies now of this transition. Now you can see that people, re you know, they, 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 uh, th th there is a reenaction of history, mm -hmm. you know. The Sudanese uh, still uh, in, the, in, in all aspects, you know, in all aspects, you know, people don't learn from uh, from previous messages. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, because the the, the uh, I think that the, pop the people, the, the stakeholders, the real stakeholders, the stakeholders, you know, and the international community, both. You know, people here and there need need peace. I, I think I think you 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 have definitely sat with with Al Hilo himself, the commander Al Hilo, or you have a talk. Uh, just your feeling. Do you think that he's genuine and he is willing to to go all the way to to reach an agreement yeah, with no, peace? I, I, I think he is, but it's not the issue of Al Hilo. Uh, it's not only Al Hilo. When you, when you have a position mm -hmm. that you have been, uh, you, you, you know, you are uh, fortified. Uh, in a position for many many years, it's not easy uh, to come out to, uh, because the the, the agreement uh, on the uh, <coughs> on the principles that they have signed is very clear. There is a trade-off between uh, the uh, secular nature of the state versus uh, um, in in exchange for the unity of the country. This is the core of the. Uh, 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 of it, so, but people sometimes during negotiation keep hovering mm. uh, from on both sides. They don't shoot right. Then. You, you know, instead of becoming very clear on 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 this trade-off, you know, and then move forward, mm -hmm. because uh, you know all parties are not uh, the SPLN North is not that, that this uh, you know kind of environment of. Uh, uh, of mistrust, the spirit of uh, of uncertainty, you know, uh, the, the overshadowed by this. Overshadowed, and then they will think of, you know, uh, the way that they want to do the security arrangements, the way they want to uh, have further consultation because they need assurances. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You so, know, so, and, so and you vice versa. <coughs> but in general, you, you in general you believe that <coughs> things, but as you can judge it as. Good, going the right track. We have to address these concerns well, clearly, and, and and the media has a lot to do here, mm -hmm. because when this uh, was, there was a leakage of the document, immediately there was a negative environment, on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, <coughs> and this negative environment affects both both sides, negotiating both okay. sides, you know. Okay, um, this is good. Um, uh, Dr. Samani, I haven't heard Professor uh, yeah. uh, One of the proposals, one of the issues proposed by the SPLM North, the Legal Hero uh, faction, they were talking about the governance of Sudan, the federal governance of Sudan. They proposed that had to be in eight big regions mm -hmm. at three levels. So they are not they are talking about the federal or the region. Uh, and then the, the, the center and uh, local. local local no state yeah. the present 18 or states are not in their proposal proposal for three <coughs> level region big region and already all this thing started the implementation of this mm. by the appointment of Menawi and he was sworn in last mm. week as governor of uh, the four region anyhow uh, what what is your comment on this issue uh, yeah. on the uh, economic aspect and this well uh, uh, equitable distribution of of wealth and from from this point of view what what is the proposal sound yeah i can uh, just uh, support the same uh, judgment of professor that the environment and atmosphere of negotiation is more optimistic and we expect that the final result Al Hilo will sign the peace agreement and they will join the peace process in Sudan. Although now they are facing disputes about core issues like secularism, like federal system, and according to the declarations of uh, principles, he mentioned that uh, he is looking forward to have uh, a civil, uh, democratic, and federal state. 
I think these three principles are very important. And, and this is represent a general trend in all uh, peace talks, all the negotiation, whether with the Darfurian rebels or with the Al-Hilu, they emphasize the importance of civil states. So the, no need, again, Al-Hilu to mention there is a special particular rights for Nuba Fung against. Once he accepts the democracy, he should uh, stick to this principle. No need to make a specific and a particular uh, favor for any group. That means uh, violating the principles of declarations. And also he mentioned some minor things, like for example, transferring the weekend from the Friday to uh, holiday. What is the benefit of Nuba <laughs> in this special area? I think Al-Hilu, he has right to talk about the issues of the two area, but the other issues are national. He has no right for example, to impose secularism in Sudan, as we mentioned several times. The Sudanese peoples, most of majority, they confirm the civil state. In that special civil state, we describe the position that government should keep the same distance from all religions in the state. No single movement can impose its own ideology. That will not be accepted by definitely by Sudanese people. If we are talking about sustainable peace in Sudan, Al-Hilu should relax his basic assumptions about the secularism. And we have to move to the uh, civil state that uh, clearly describes it in the manifesto of December Revolution and later on explain it in many dialogues. So Al-Hilu, he has history to sign agreement. Not this is the first time. So the history repeats itself again. He finally will sign the agreement, although now he is talking about some disputes, some about more than 10 or 15 uh, points, which represent a dispute point between government and the SPLM North. But at the end of the day, Al-Hilu, I think, will reach to the uh, point of compromise and will sign the agreement with the government because of his, his history. During uh, 2010, he signed agreement with a religious state, not with the December Revolution state. So why is delaying now? He had right just to go ahead, and the issue of secularism, I think, there is no benefit for the two areas to spend more time on secular. This is a Sudanese national issue, I think, can be determined uh, when they uh, join the government, and they, as he mentioned, he mentioned very important point, the early election. Yes, we have to go to election if we are uh, belief in democracy. So all the parties, they have to work hard in order to reach the, uh, the elections. That is very important because people, they have to say their own decision about the, uh, uh, Sudan and whether to be secular, to be civil, to be a uh, religious state. That is a matter relating to the Sudanese nations. So I think according to this discussion, Al-Hilu can move in the direction to compromise with the government and to sign this agreement. Although most of this area tackled by Al-Hilu in the Declaration of Principles are covered by the, uh, uh, the peace uh, uh, parties in Juba, the Darfur and the uh, five tracks that uh, just signed agreement. So I don't think there is uh, more time to spend on something like weekend and uh, other point. You have to go to the sign the peace uh, because to, uh, to accept uh, another uh, 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 new member. Okay, yeah. doctor, okay that, 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 that's very that's good. <laughs> Okay, okay. If, if we ask, if we go to Professor uh, uh, Montosir, who has been also in Juba, uh, Professor Montosir, one of, one of the small things which I noticed, maybe you can elaborate before I ask you the second question, about the proposal of the five, the eight regions by SPLM North, by Hadith al Hilu. Definitely, I think he deliberately mentioned when, well, if you talk, if you go, if you remember the CPA, mm -hmm. the Comprehensive Peace Agreement of uh, 2005, uh, in that agreement, they were talking in geographical references, like saying two areas, every not two areas, is South Kurdufan and Blue Nile. In his statement, in his negotiation, this time he mentioned West uh, Kurdufan and Funj. Mm -hmm. Funj is not a geographic, ge geographical area. Nobody knows Funj. Mm. Well, this is this. I think this this this, this was intentionally <coughs> done, but it is not something good because I my in my opinion mm. we are talking about something ge in geography, geographical Blue Nile. Everybody knows Blue Nile until the Blue Nile uh, sector uh, by uh, mm. um, Agar, they signed the agreement of October 2020. It mm. was they were talking about Blue Nile. Now he's talking about French. Why is he raising 
controversial issues like this, which is not, it's not it, it does not make any difference. But when you say fungi, what is fungi? Maybe you fungi the, the, something related to tribalism or to racism or uh, what is your comment on this? Mm. How 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 why did you? Um, <coughs> Uh, you know, during negotiation, there are major uh, issues and minor issues. As I, as I stated before, you know, the major trade-off is between a state, yes. uh, you know, uh, uh, position on 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 religion and genuinity, and this is very important because uh, you cannot solve this through elections. Uh, if you want to solve this through election, then they will will uh, secede mm. you know this is a price uh, for keeping Sudan together and it's not only Hilo also Abdel Wahid is uh, is uh, raising the, uh, the slogan of uh, secularism uh, and then when Nimeri himself imposed uh, a non-secular you know uh, constitution he did not consult with anybody there was no election mm. you know uh, there is this now opportunity in the state and it has been signed you know and that's a breakthrough so all this minor issue about the uh, vacation and funge, I don't think these are uh, blocks in, you know, there's not, this is not real negotiation. It, it, is, it is that the multiplicity of agreements now that the, the central government is signing. For example, uh, there are things that I can agree that we have to go and discuss it in a, in a, in a national forum, like uh, like like a conference on 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 how to govern Sudan, you know, and the system of governance. Uh, for example, I myself, uh, if you, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, uh, I'm emphatically opposed to uh, uh, a presidential uh, system, democratic uh, uh, presidential democracy. I'm with the parliamentarian system. The paper of the SPLA North mentioned uh, presidential system there's no clarity here okay so uh, the eight state system we propose this for the first time at the uh, university of khartoum initiative that we have to have go to the all six states plus uh, the two areas so that makes eight. eight and then you can have a council like a, the, like a sovereign body with a president, either rotating or single, but Sudan cannot be governed by uh, a system uh, of, of presidential system. Presidential system. It, it can't. It can't. This is this this one, of, one of the differences. But you, you, you repair some I, 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 You are for the was not explained. I, It was not explained. In 2005, it was a presidential system. I think they, they want to move towards uh, you know, kind of a mixed system. Mm -hmm. But this has to be, I, and I agree on a few things that have been discussed at, uh, at a wider forum. Mm. But in general, I think the position, the document that presented uh, on this particular issue is uh, more advanced than the one signed with the SRF. <coughs> because this, one, this one is more advanced than more, the Yes, because the SRF the have four, these four system, which is just, Sudan cannot spend money on uh, uh, these uh, uh, structures, you know, made by Ngaz to satisfy uh, the, the, the bureaucracies that created by it. What <coughs> the most important level of governance now is the local government. Local government. It's the local government. And then uh, the, uh, the people agree on the federal system. There are <coughs> the differences. Is it a federal or decentralized? There was discussion. I think these things can be solved. I'm not. I'm not really worried about this. No, not a big. Issue. These are not all big issues. That's when when I say that the leaking of the uh, of the document uh, took all the attention to the vacation. The day of the vacation, I think they they uh, they propose just to emphasize to emphasize that they want a non-religious state. It's a, an eccentric way of showing it, but that was based on the, the meetings, you know. <laughs> Uh, that they held in their uh, liberation area. Uh, uh, I, uh, what I was expecting that since in Juba now you have the state, you have the SPLNOs, you have the uh, other factions of the SRF, you have the, all the political parties, there is an, an opportunity now in Juba to come up with some consensus to salvage uh, the transition period. The transition period, yes, yeah. it's very important. Mm.
Okay, that's it, that's, it, that's it good, that's very clear. So <laughs> what you are saying that this issues like holiday, Friday or Sunday or Wednesday, and issues like phones, these are minor issues which are it's part of intentionally, a intentionally negotiating put, uh, <laughs> uh, tactics. Tactics. Hmm. Uh, okay, Dr. Samani Hanun. Yes. One of the issues that, as he, Professor Montasir, he mentioned that in his first uh, introduction, that even the Revolutionary Front, which signed an agreement in Juba in October 2020, almost seven months ago, uh, that they started last week to present and to talk about the slow implementation of the Juba Agreement of 2020, October 20, with emphasis on the DDR, the integration, reintegration of their yeah. troops in the National Army. Yeah. And the Army, I think they also, they mentioned that it costs about 100 or 200, almost 200 million dollars to do this process. What is your comment on this? You are an economist. Yeah. The money, money the, is, is an important mm, factor mm, in... Yeah. Okay. Money is a core issue in peace process. And we mentioned several times that one of the serious impediments or challenge that face the whole process funding of peace in Sudan. Now, since the last six months, the uh, peace parties in Juba are complaining from delay in DDR and also meeting the day-to-day uh, -day expenses of this movement because of lack of money in the Ministry of Finance and the Treasury of the government. So I think one of the core reasons behind delaying the DDR and other uh, 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 terms of uh, agreement the lack of money to finance uh, the peace process and unless they introduce a new way of thinking in order to invent a new source of uh, money to finance peace, peace will face a challenge really. Mm -hmm. Sudan is passing exceptionally through very tight economic condition mm -hmm. and we explained this explicitly several times cannot finance peace. Now, I mean now we're talking about 700 the also Hulu will talk about similar figure, 200 million. The other, from where they get money? No money in the Minister of Finance. So they have work, and now they are part of the government. They have to think innovatively mm -hmm. in order to create money. You have to invest, you have to do business, you have in order to finance the peace process. Otherwise, you will face challenge, delaying because of lack of finance. And it is clear, they cannot uh, provide uh, 200 uh, million dollars in order to finance the peace. So innovating ways to finance the peace is the core success factor for the whole process. Otherwise, all of them, they will face this challenge of funding peace because Sudan is passing through very tight economic mm -hmm. condition. But let me just to comment on a point, and you share me, this is special. The al hulu should focus on uh, the new the presidential system and i believe strongly that we have to move from parliament system to presidential system so you are not, you are not uh, you are, i am with you you agree with I, me yeah, i, I see. want article but for, maybe professor has yeah another uh, for package of reason we uh, want to transfer the power of decision from the political party directly to the citizen by uh, exercising presidential system we give power to the individuals to the citizens rather than parties. Parties are working as a brokers, middleman between the citizens and the government, and also they need. So when we accept the presidential system, we transfer more power to the Sudanese people and we give chance to the citizens in order to el elect the key person in the state, the president, the governors of the uh, uh, regions, the localities. So power will be in the hand of the people. They will decide who will rule the country. And I think this is important. We have to transfer power from parties to the individual by introducing presidential system. And I hope that al Hilo will accept this proposal and add it in that, the negotiation. That's his, his proposal. <laughs> by the yes. way, by the way, I, I wrote article. You read in very the, interesting in article issue yeah. about because I reiterated the history. Yeah. Because I, I, I even said that uh, I quoted, I quoted, I cited Einstein, with, uh, conventional wisdom. Einstein said what he said: insanity. Mm -hmm. is repeating the same mistakes and expecting different results. Result, yeah. We tried this mistake. I, I, parliamentary system is definitely yes. advanced, very good, in, in 
in, in Europe, it apply in Europe, in UK, yeah. and we inherited this from England, from Britain. Yeah. Yeah. We inherited it, but unfortunately, our people were not up to it because the parliamentary system led to three coups, military coups, three, yeah. one, two, three. Political parties also. So, moreover, one new factor here we have now the parties. We have many parties, hundred, more mm -hmm. than hundred parties, and groups and uh, factions and uh, uh, military who after they join. So we have a diversity of, of, of in the political arena now. The only thing, if we, if, if we accept the presidential system, people will be forced to have create some form of blocks. They make blocks. Yeah. So we'll end up with left, right block, maybe middle block, okay. which will be very conducive <coughs> to a system. But anyhow, this is subject to Deep, debate. deep discussion and mm. deep debate. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. puts his his argument. Exactly. But yeah. okay, if, if if we go if we go to 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 uh, uh, Professor Montosir, also one of the proposals led by by Al Hilo is 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 to divide the transitional period mm. to two uh, two segments actually, mm. uh, where which is something I think it's not bad. To, for for the creation of of, of the, the the mechanism and the mecha how how to, how of the governance how mm -hmm. first to build this and then shift before election. What, what is your comment on this proposal of having a split? This is one one of the parts of the document that was received with uh, with, an, with openness from the side of the government. This, this, this came from the side of government? The, no, this came from uh, the Hispel in Oz. But the, the, the government were quite flexible to, to consider it. To consider it, okay. Uh, but this is, uh, this uh, proposal should have come early during the, you know, the, the, it has been suggested, you know, the uh, six months pre-transition. Uh, you know, yeah. in which you do things, but you can't, that does not include a real election because election needs time and needs money. Time you know, and money, yeah, and you don't have people. either of those. You know, uh, uh, what my, me personally, because I'm a strong advocate of the uh, local government, is this election, this uh, proposal, if modified, to include uh, an, a local government. You know where it's very important even economically so that people can you know uh, <coughs> control their their own uh, you know local resources local you know yeah. and solve their problems uh, I, I heard today in Wadrawa is became independent economically you know they, <laughs> they have higher they have bought yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, so th this can be discussed I think for this and this is what I have suggested as an independent uh, when I was there as an uh, uh, whole expert or reserver, you know, <coughs> um, is we should really, we, we can't br bring all these issues into the negotiation, negotiating table. Yeah. We should agree on the framework of, uh, of the issues that we should discuss. And then uh, the rest, you know, all the details has to be discussed at the national level, consensual manner with experts. For example, the issue of the land. You know, the issue of the land is a very complex issue and concerns, you know, uh, uh, m many Sudanese uh, communities, you know, all across the country. Cannot be discussed only in Juba and people reach an agreement there, you know. Uh, so I think uh, for these negotiations to move for forward, we have to, uh, uh, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, withdraw from these minor uh, details. You know, it's not minor. It's, um, some of them are very, very fundamental issues. Mm -hmm. But we should def defer them to, uh, to, to, some, to bigger forums. To bigger forums uh, that ha can be uh, agreed upon and focus on the major issues, as I mentioned. You know, the things that people have been, uh, you know, they, 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 they raise arms for, for over the last. Uh, Thirty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is very good advice because uh, one of the questions which I was going to ask you about about the the uh, uh, 
Dr. Dr. Dayuma Talk, who is mm. he's actually actually the secretary mm. of the, 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 the talks, and he's the, mm. uh, uh, the, the, he's moving. He, he he's very clever and he's very active in this role. Yeah. But he mentioned something. He said that we will not accept any revision to, to declaration the of declaration principles. principles. Mm. You, you, you hear that? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he that uh, what, what, do you, what do you think? Why he, he said that? Uh, is it due uh, to the media? Yeah. Or what, what, why is he? I think this uh, to is, is he yeah, uh, implied. Uh, this is miscall, I think, to some parties because he uh, judges that there are some uh, negotiation, I think, uh, beyond the uh, declarations of principles. And the, uh, the two negotiating parties, according to the mediator, chief mediator uh, to uh, 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 Modio talk, they have to stick to the declarations of principles and they have to work. So impliedly we understand that there's some violation to the principles of declaration and this is why he remind the two contracting parties they have to stick to the declarations of principle regarding the civil state, the democratic state, the federal state. These are the co are co core area of discussions, uh, I think. But there is a very important point mentioned also by Al uh, Juba talks, the election. And I think in order to make national reconcile and to settle the dispute currently available in Sudanese uh, uh, society, we need to go to election. The only way we can solve this problem because still people are bargaining and they have different bargaining power about power especially. So the only way I make total solution for this in the transitional period, we have to arrange early to, for election. Election can uh, realize package of advantage to the Sudanese nation who suffer from disputes, from the different uh, 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 arguments about the uh, government, about the performance of government. So uh, he, as he mentioned, election are uh, important, and, but we have to prepare ourselves uh, according to the requirements <coughs> of uh, uh, very fair uh, elections and transparent election that reflect the will of the nation and there's uh, international support and sponsorship of the international community. What do you mean People by early election? Early election you mean before the end of the uh, transitional period? As soon early. as possible. Because I think election can solve many inherent problems. Now, still people are uh, talking about the right to represent the, the nation. Cost, the cost of the election you have in mind, you are economists, you know the cost of the elections. It's more than 200 million, definitely. I think uh, the, inter uh, the world lead can support the election, so, but I think some so people they don't like the to go to election. <laughs> early election is not, is not, is not uh, yeah. uh, people are uh, not are Yes, not uh, again, I there is one point mentioned by Professor, the Watrao model. I think this is a good model to increase <laughs> the severe impact of the uh, removing subsidy of the fuel. Local government can also design some uh, yes, subsidy yes. to the fuel in order to back the local people and to support them. So the draw model, I think, is good yes, model, good model yes, to be uh, generalized. Yes. Okay, that's, okay, so we call it the draw model. Okay, that's yeah. good for enhancing <laughs> the locality. Yeah. Okay, Professor, we have a very, very interesting um, question about the late, not the early, late involvement of the Troika, Troika and Igat. The Troika, Troika as uh, Troika means three. Mm. Troika, uh, America, yes. uh, UK, uh, UK, and mm. Norway. Norway. Mm. Norway, as we all know, Norway is the hub mm. of the Christian yeah. uh, world. Anyhow, Norway has played a very important role in Sudan, <coughs> and they have very good relations in Sudan, and they are right in the middle of all the problems in Sudan. So the involvement of the Troika at this. They, uh, as as grantor, they want to grant it to be, to be like like referees and grantor. What 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 is your comment on the involvement of Troika? Uh, this a little bit later stage because they all to refer to the Juba, the Fair Juba October 2020 mm -hmm. agreement and the ongoing agreement. What, what is your comment on the involvement of the Troika and what is the impact of their involvement on? The, the, the ongoing process of uh, peace? Uh, you know, I hope the, what's known as the international community, of course, in case of Sudan, is led by the Troika. Uh, 
the intervention will be uh, uh, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, that intervention that does not uh, oversee and uh, does in, uh, cater for the local, uh, lo you know, uh, real issues of the of the negotiations. You know, if you if if this is not the case and the international community is putting pressure uh, to uh, to gear the the negotiations uh, on a certain track, just to to have an an agreement like what happened in Nefasha. I think this is the, the long term, if you know, uh, consequences are not really, will not be ever because the, the the issues at stake now are very deep mm -hmm. and with deep roots. Uh, so I hope they, you know when they engage, they will engage in a in a in a interactive in a more interactive manner. You yeah. know. Uh, not, not, not as refereed or as grantors. Uh, yeah, uh, as grantors is very important because all these agreements need uh, international support in terms yeah. of uh, funding, uh, in terms of uh, the assurances that we have mentioned early and the yeah. deep mistrust. But, uh, you know, I hope that the, 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 you know, it happens in a spontaneous, not in a spontaneous, but in a, in a way that uh, that and, uh, include the dynamics, you know, no matter how, you know, uh, long the process is, okay. you know, uh, rather than, because in Juba we had an agreement in Nefasha, oh, yes, but it did yes. not last. It did not last, you know. The outcome is the cessation the of the south. The outcome is the cessation and then uh, uh, problems in the south, problems in the north, you know, that, uh, you know. So you are a little bit worried you are about the involved you I'm have not, to I'm not worried I'm 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 just looking uh, for I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm hoping to define them. that they, they they you know the way they engage in okay, this process okay. uh -huh. uh, will be a, 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 a method a, a way that uh, and takes into consideration the complexity of the okay, issues okay okay, okay. now I got it yes, I yes. Got it. Uh -huh. so we have to take it light I I thought uh, I, to me, this uh, we have a few minutes maybe, mm -hmm. to me it's, it, it looks a little bit weird about the involvement at this, when I said it, at this dead late stage, not early, because they referred back to 2020, October, seven months ago about the agreement, and then why did they come late? But now Professor, he, he, he's, uh, he mentioned that, he is a little bit not worried, but uh, they have to define the terms of their involvement, to what extent to that. To, you have to bear in mind the complexity of the situation. So what can you add to what Professor Montosir said uh, about this issue of the Troika? Yeah, I think uh, adding a Troika as a witness to the agreement uh, can give some international dimension because uh, Troika, which consists of three main countries, US, UK, and Norway, can uh, contribute uh, to the financing also the peace uh, project. They also can uh, contribute to the uh, uh, increase the role of international community after withdrawal of the UNAMID and other institutions of the UN. They can support the UNITAMS also. So the existence of international community, I think, will support the peace process and also maintain uh, the building peace process in Sudan and also ensuring funding the peace, which is big challenge facing peace process. So I think to some extent the Troika can also uh, make difference and add uh, uh, to the peace process in uh, Sudan. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Professor, you have one minute. Carl. You have to conclude and say a word about just in one minute. In one minute, uh, these uh, negotiations in Juba uh, needs support of the of the Sudanese society at large. You know, people need to get uh, involved, send messages of peace. You know, uh, local communities, hakamat, political uh, parties. You know, people have to think in a non-partisan manner in this important to uh, have to impart uh, okay. context in the history of Sudan. You know. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, dear. Uh, gentlemen for being with us in this one hour and thank you dear viewers for being with us in the last hour. We hope to see you next week in a different issue, hopefully something uh, good about the progress of peace 
uh, on, in, in South Sudan in Juba. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Слышала.